good morning from Pandan and Silos, Mayun Umaga. We are headed to the Hanging Bridge, which is, I've been told about, I don't know how far it is, but we've got to head down to the Bago River. And the reason that, morning, the reason that we're going to the Hanging Bridge is to, uh, <laughs> all right, we're away from the barking dogs now, but today we're headed down to the Bago River to the, what is called the Hanging Bridge. It's the uh, bridge that leads to a school in Palacia. And, uh, you know, prior to having this hanging bridge, kids used to have to cross the river by raft in order to go to school. So something that I wanted to see and how big the river was everywhere we go. There's barking dogs. So I'll see you down by the river. Hey! <laughs> Headed down towards the river, you can see Kanlaon off in the distance. Just when you thought you made a friend, Junk. Ooh. Yeah, it's a road, but it's, it's a little steep going down. So coming up, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. But yeah, that's Kanlaon off in the distance. Covered up with clouds as, as it normally is. Umaga. All right, so this is kind of where the concrete ends and a little bit more of the difficult journey begins. I don't know how much further it is. Project engineer knows, but we'll find out. Okay, looks like we're gonna be going back on back on the road. That's the Bago River down there.
So basically, I think the purpose of this bridge, it's saying that is to improve uh, access of school to children, to basic education, and uh, hanging footbridge. So I think prior to the hanging bridge here, the school children would have to cross the bago down there and uh, you know basically pull themselves across the river which was a problem because if it rained i was told by teachers that they would have to leave school early just to be able to get across the river to their home before you know the rain got too bad So I'm sure at some point, the river crossing, well, maybe that was a bridge. It's hard to tell. I can't really tell, guys, if, if there was a bridge at one time or if this is kind of where they crossed with the, uh, with the rafts. You know, they would use these big rafts like this and basically going from there, you know, pull themselves across over to that landing, probably that landing. So that was how the kids would go to school in Pandan and Silos. Now there's a school called Palacia up this way, but I'm not sure exactly, you know, where the school is. So anyhow, this is the hanging bridge. Don't know where the location is. What's this location? What's the hanging? It's the hanging bridge of Palacia? Palasang? Palasyang. 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 All right. They have that overflow before, but it keeps... Oh, this one! Yeah, it was it part of this uh, one. Washing bridge, out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some part of the river. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Doug! I feel like there's some spots that... I feel like there's a couple of spots that I could maybe go through. Kind of a view from below of the hanging bridge of Palacia. Didn't realize this, but this is a spillway and uh, some of it's still here, but a lot of it keeps getting washed out. So I'm sure during really, really bad 
uh, rains, you know, there's some water that comes down here and I'm sure it's pretty, pretty, pretty fast. As you can see, some of these concrete waterworks have just gotten washed out. So I, I assume at some point that was a raft. It looks like it has cracks on it for vehicles, but I can't imagine that a car would go on that. I imagine it would be more maybe like a tricycle or something. Don't know if it's in use or not. But you know for sure that there are motors, there's motorcycles going across. Chucky, what do you think of the hanging bridge? You know, even taking a motorcycle up this, it's pretty steep. It's probably a 30 degree angle. So, man, this could be a challenge just even riding a motorcycle up here. As you walk across it, it bounces. You know, you can see it bouncing as I'm walking on it. But much sturdier than, you know, uh, I guess taking a raft across the river, you know, to get to school. Yeah, and again, I think that's where they probably would, I don't know if they currently use it, I, I would imagine so. Maybe after the rainy season.
Mush, mush. how tall some of this bamboo can get. What do water buffalo do to stay cool? They have to roll around in the mud. That's where I want to go. Uh. Yeah, he's out there just going in the mud. Nice. Okay, so this is the, uh, the hanging bridge. You know, it was a fun walk to get down to. Looks like motorcycles and pedestrians are the only things going across this bridge. Just wanted to show you this. I thought it would be interesting to see, for you to see prior to this bridge, what school children had to, to do to get to school. You know, it might be a mile and a half, you know, for, for the kids to get to school from the other side of the river, the side that we're on. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty difficult and uh, quite a commitment, you know, if you're a student that lived on this side of the river and you graduated from school, congratulations. That's pretty amazing. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit subscribe. This is David, your traveling tutor, saying thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.